Hello friends, welcome to Fisheries Only, Nourishing Fish, Nurturing Life, I Educational YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss uh, uh, one more aspect regarding the classification of fishes. We shall refer to the bugs, bugs fish classification. In this video, we are going to discuss the bugs classification, advantages of bug classification and its proposed classification by the bugs. Classification of, is, of the fish is nothing but it is also called as the ethio taxonomy. Taxonomy is a Greek word which means theory or practice of the classifying the organism that is the taxa and nomos. Taxa means arrangement and normals means law. That is taxonomy is nothing but the arrangement of the animals as per the law. Then classification. Classification is nothing but the zoological classification is the ordering the animal into groups on the basis of relationships. That is ordering the animals on the basis of their relationships that is the classification the evolutionary classification based largely on the typological methods which is has been adopted by the taxonomies foremost among them are gunter and co jordan reagan berg romer given this classification of the various things of are proposed by the scientists and there is no agreement among the ethologists regarding classification of the fishes. Fishes constitute more than one half of all vertebrate comprising around the 40,000 species. Bugs in 1940 is most the proposed classification and which is worldwide accepted. This classification is blurred on the conclusions of the Jordan 1923 and Regan. Many ethologists consider bug classification with minor revisions. Bugs scrutinized the demerits of other classification proposal and make an advanced classification which is were widely accepted. Earlier, classification of fishes is proposed by Muller in 1844 and who proposed seven subclasses of series classes. And Burke proposed a classification in 1940, 1940 and the include all living fishes as well as the fossil species in a series and this series subdivided into the seven major classes that is series Pisces and seven major classes first class is Terichthys second Cocosti third Acanthodi first three that is Terichthys Cocosti and Acanthodi together or collectively called as the placodons, as these fishes are mostly extinct fishes. They are present only in fossil form, and their hard plates are covered by on the body instead of scales. The fourth class is elasmobranch fishes. That is the fishes which endoskeleton is made up of cartilage fish. This is a holocephaly, that means the holo entire cephaly, the entire head developed from fishes. And in sixth one is a diploid fishes, that is the lung fishes. Dive means two, ploid means lungs. The fishes which can have two habits that respire in the water also as well as outside also 
and sixth one is the teleostomy fishes that is the bony fishes which is further divided into crossopterygian and actinopterygian crossopterygian are the fishes are the bony fishes having paired fin with the scales covered lobe containing radials radials that means the paired fins with a scale covered lobe with radials and actinomorphia are the their lobe not lobes are not present or radials are not present or absent in the actinomorphia fish the examples of terichthys is a terichthys and it is also called this class is also called as antiarchy and the example of this class is terichthys second class is cocosti and cocostius the example a canthodi a canthodi means spines a cantha means spines and calamitous these are the examples fourth class is elasmobranchi that is the endoskeleton is made up of cartilage and the examples are the shark fishes skate fishes ray fishes holocephaly holo means entire cephaly means the heads that the heads are entirely developed having upper jaw and lower jaw completely developed and the example is a chimera fish Sixth class is the dipnoid. These are also called as the lung fishes. They are having. They can respire in underwater as well as outside water. That is the lung species. Australian lung species and South African lung fishes, etc. These are the examples. Tilostomy. The endoskeleton is made up of. bones that is the endoskeleton is ossified that fish is is called as a teleostomy and this is the advanced class of the pisces having two sub classes actinopterygy and crossopterygy crossopterygy is example is latimeria and actinopterygy are the normal example is as a carps mackerels etc Hello friends if you like video please subscribe the channel and promote the channel thank you